Well, obviously, you guys are kind of coming off that tough loss against Bucknell there in overtime. Uh, what were you kind of telling the guys throughout, you know, preparing for this game to try and put it behind them, especially with the young team? I mean, you know, a, a lot of the same things we've been talking about um, all, all, all season. Um, we, uh, you know, just the, the little things matter. And, and at Bucknell, you know, we, we did some things well. We, uh, we, we competed, you know, we, we executed at times, but um, when it counted most, you know, we had a couple couple breakdowns. And what we just really tried to, to highlight for our guys is that, uh, you know, each possession, you, you, you got to do your job. You got to trust your teammates. And that if everybody's doing their, their job, the, the, the pieces of the puzzle seem to, to fit together. Um, you know, it wasn't a pretty game out there today, but we, we, we did. The other thing we've talked about kind of all year is that we need to grind it out. Uh, and by that, you know, it's, it's, it's not, you know, there's not necessarily a, a real flow to it, but you just kind of got to fight through and, and, and keep kind of chipping away. And, and certainly in the second half, that's what we did. I thought, you know, Lump uh, worked around the basket. He, you know, he got rid of all that nonsense and he, he got two, three, four, five feet from the basket and he took it to the basket. And that was huge. And that forced Colgate to, to really send a lot of uh, help down there in the post. Which then opened up. Lubtak got a big three. Vlad got a big three. Uh, Joe Hill got a big three. So, you know, I, I thought Lumpkin's effort and, and toughness in, in the second half was was kind of the catalyst for everything. Yeah. So how key will Lumpkin's definitely be down low? Because you guys shot eight for sixteen from three. Um, but definitely, obviously, when Lumpkin's kind of did get going in the second half, that's when it opened up for you guys. Because you guys shot. That's when uh, you went five to six from three in the second half. So. How important that will be? Will that be for guys like Vlad? Or I mean, that that can be huge. I mean, you know, it's 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 very frustrating if you're working hard and you're throwing the ball into the post, and you know you're not coming away with with buckets on on a regular basis. And you know, if if, if you look at uh, Lump's stats, I mean, his shooting percentage isn't terrible, except that he's shooting basically you know layups and and, and shots inside of five feet. Um, and so we've really you know been been working. It, He's been working hard at, at trying to, to just be more efficient and, and, and make it, you know, make, make those those opportunities count. When he does that, it makes life easier for everyone else. Um, Steve gave you a great game today, um, averaging 1.4 points in the air, came out with 18. Um, what does he give you at the point guard position that you can't get from Dan? Well, you know, Steve didn't play a lot today because Danny did anything wrong. Steve played because when he went in, he played well. Yeah. Um, I, I thought, uh, you know, we, we, we made the decision to go with Danny as a starting point guard and Steve with his backup going into the Bucknell game. Um, we, we just thought that, you know, Danny was coming along and, and was, you know, trying to do the things that, that we were talking to him about and that Luptak, um, you know, could, could be the guy, the, 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 the sure and steady hand, he, you know, wasn't going to make a lot of great plays, but you know, could just be really solid. Give us some leadership and some toughness there. Um, you know, I, I think we met with some limited success uh, in the Bucknell game, but we certainly built on it. Again, I thought Danny did a, a solid job when he played, um, but Steve came in. You know, really, I, th I thought gave us some some uh, some life at the defensive end, um, and and. Uh, you know, he, he, he ran the team with some confidence. I mean, he, he wanted to be out there. He was excited. And then when, you know, when he hit a couple shots, um, you know, I, 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 that, I think that showed his, his, his confidence there. Um, now, now, Vlad, um, on, on the same topic, he seemed like he was having a lot of fun today. This is my first time seeing him live. And, you know, he's hitting threes and smiling. But then you've got, you've got people like Nick who are always really calm and really deserved. Um, How would you define the, <laughs> the emotional uh, – emotional I, you know, that's the first time that I've ever heard Nick Hendra described as calm and reserved. Um, well, he was trying. But, I, you know, I, I, I think that, uh, you know, we, we've been telling our team, you know, have fun, be excited. And, you know, it's, it's uh, you know, a little mantra we've been, you know, life is good. I mean, you know, we're losing some games and, and, and losing, nobody wants to lose. Losing isn't fun, but it could be worse. And so we get to we get to get together every day, and we need to we get to to work at, at becoming a better basketball team and being around people that we enjoy doing something we we love doing. So we've really been trying to hammer home, you know, let's let, let's have fun, okay? Yeah, we, we want to win, um, and, and 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 we've got to work towards that. But the, the the process itself has to be fun. So how do you capture the momentum from today and take it on the road um, to Army? Uh, 
you know, I, I think with a young team, um, you know, a, a win can, can be kind of a, a, a stepping stone. Um, but, you know, we've, we've already talked uh, briefly in, in the locker room about um, how hard it is to, to play at West Point and how tough uh, Army's uh, uh, experienced players are. And we need to know it's going, it's going to be a dogfight. It's, it's going to be, uh, you know, physical and, and uh, every possession contested. And, you know, w even though it's, you know, it's, it's, it's a new coach, it's the same group of players. And they're a bunch of tough guys. Um, and, and we've got to be ready for, for that kind. And I, so I think focusing in and, and, and having the excitement, but, but you know, not, not being immature and, and you know, uh, reading too much into this win, but saying, okay, let's do the same things, let's do some things better, and let's see if we can go up to Army and, uh, you know, play even, even, even better than, than we did today. Congrats on the first page the win, guys. Thank you, guys. Um, How did you guys feel? I mean, obviously you came up with a couple now, you know, I mean, Coach Jones said you guys wanted to focus on the little things. But how are you guys feeling, like, you know, throughout the team? What was your thing? Coming into this game, finally getting home again. Um, well, it was, you know, obviously nice to be back at home playing here. We haven't been home in a while, but uh, we really just focused, not worrying about the losses in the preseason, just kind of, you know, the league's wide open, you know, just today was the most important thing, so we were just focused on Colgate, really. Yeah, um, in the Bucknell game, we at least competed basically throughout the whole entire game, which was better than our first game against Lehigh. And, but the only problem was with the Bucknell game, we just didn't close out the game. And that was the difference today. Um, we competed all the game long today, but then we were all willing to you know, take the extra step and just close out the game and do all the little things just to make sure that we get the win. Um, Steve, coming into this game, you had a career high five points, 1.4 points per game this year. Exploded for 18. Um, what, what were the keys to that? Were you just feeling it, or was there anything? That um, I mean, yeah, I was feeling good, um, but you know, our post players are doing a great job of uh, kicking the ball out because we are really focusing on getting it down low in the second half. And it seemed that I mean, they were just leaving us double teaming down low in the post, and they did a great job of kicking it out. And I mean, I was wide open, so it's my job to knock down the shot. So luckily, I did today.